Hello Vinyl Community, this is my top 40 greatest 80s albums. Obviously these are albums I own, it's not necessarily a list of the best albums of the 80s, just my my personal list of my of my LPs. So uh, let's do it. Right, number 40. This is um, a bit of an audiophile um, album actually, uh, the Alan Parsons Project iRobot this is um yeah it's a quite a cheap audio file album and I thought I'll put it in as number 40 number 39 Morrissey Viva Hate it's not a bad album particularly um, but it's got one outstanding song on there obviously that's uh, Every Day Is Like Sunday which is just a, a, a belt of a tune so yeah love that song like the album as well and that's Morrissey Viva Hate. Number 38, The Bible, Eureka. This was um, introduced to me by Rob Walker. Um, never heard of the album or the band until he mentioned it in a few of his videos. Um, the Bible, uh, I think they had an album before this or after, maybe before. But uh, yeah, it's it's a real nice, um, easy listening album. It's very mellow. You play this at home and relax and listen to it, or in the car if you've got it on CD. And that is yes, the Bible Eureka. Number thirty-seven, Nick Kershaw, Human Racing, packed full of hits such as "Wouldn't It Be Good" and "I Won't Let the Sun Go Down on Me," and I think as well two others on here. Um, I think this came out in 84. Very, very good album. <coughs> Number 36, Roy Orbison's Mystery Girl. I believe this was under the production of Jeff Lynne. Um, sadly, I think this may have been released just after he passed away, Roy Orbison. Um, yes, this was at a time of uh, the Travelling Wilburys, when he was involved with Travelling Wilburys. And uh, yeah, I like the album very much. And that's Roy Orbison, Mystery Girl. 35. The Human League, Dare, yes, Dare. This has got um, Don't You Want Me on there. And there's another hit, I just can't think of it. But yes, it's a good album to have. Dare, Human League. Number 34, the very commercialised Eric Clapton's August. Yes, so the number of hits on here, such as uh, Bad Influence and Behind the Mask, uh, and it's in the way that you use it. Yes, very popular Eric Clapton album commercially, um, but perhaps not his best amongst his fans, but as commercially, I think it was very successful. And uh, yes, put this... Uh, in the top 40 of mine. Number 33, Whitney's Houston's second album. Big album this was um, with the song I Want to Dance with Somebody. And uh, yeah, big hit and uh, very successful album as well. Number 32, Caf Blue. Style Council, yes, 
um, such hits as You're the Best Thing is on here. And uh, yeah, it's quite a, quite a nice little album by uh, Gaff Blue, Style Council. One, a very popular Paul McCartney tug of war album. Uh, yes, this is a, a good album of Paul McCartney's, and this is at uh, number 31. Number 30, a lot of hits on this album uh, The Pointer Sisters Breakout, um, Automatic, Jump, uh, I Need You, and I'm So Excited. Yes, four mega hits on there. Very good album, The Pointer Sisters, Breakout. Number 29, another album with many hits, and that's Huey Lewis and the News. The album is four. Hits such as Stuck, and you, sorry, Stuck With You, um, Hip To Be Square, and Parallel Love. Yeah, very uh, popular album for its time. Number 28, ZZ Top. ZZ Top, such hits such as uh, Legs, uh, Give Me All Your Loving, um, bit of a classic uh, classic rock album, this one. I, uh, I thought I'd include rock amongst my, uh, my top 40. Um, I don't think I could have done it, this, this list without rock. Number 27, Bob Seger, Silver Bullet Band. Um, love the song on here, Against the Wind, which is also featured on um, the Forrest Gump soundtrack, which is an excellent soundtrack. And uh, yeah, very good album of some Bob Seger, more classic rock. Yesterday, but it was long ago. Jane, it was lovely, she was a queen of my night. There in the darkness, 
house with the radio playing low no end And the secrets that we share The mountains that we move Caught like a wildfire out of control Till there was nothing left to burn and nothing left to prove Sixth, Billy Squire. Um, don't say no. Um, this is a Japanese pressing, actually, and it sounds brilliant. So so quiet Japanese um, pressings. Um, very uh, very little, if if any, um, ground noise. And uh, yeah, very impressed with this. Very good album. Number 25, and that's the very late um, B-52s. I say late because it's just about made the 80s, 89. B-52s, um, Cosmic Thing, uh, includes the singles Love Shack, Rome, and Deadbeat Club. Number 24, Stevie Nicks, Belladonna, has the hit song... Stop Dragging My Heart Around with Tom Petty. Great song. So, uh, yes, that's uh, number 24 for me. 23, David Bowie, Let's Dance. A classic album of his. And, uh, yes, very happy to have this in my collection. This one as well. Uh, 23, uh, Kate Bush, Hounds of Love. Very popular album of Kate Bush's, if not her best album, possibly. So, uh, yeah, there you go, Kate Bush.
number 21, this classic 80s soul piece by Sade. Diamond Life doesn't get much more uh, classic 80s than this one. So yeah, that's at uh, 21, and it's uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very very nice album. Very uh, very soulful classic. And that's uh, Diamond Life by Sade. Number 20, Sting, Nothing Like the Sun. This too is a, a, well, I would say an audiophile record, a cheap, like the lower end cheap sort of one, really. Um, very, very good sounding. The production on this is, is, is absolutely brilliant. And uh, yeah, that's at number 20, Nothing Like the Sun by Sting. Number 19. Get into it now. Uh, Billy Idol, Rebel Yell. Yes, this is at number 19 for me. Uh, Eyes Without a Face is just a cracking song. And uh, Rebel Yell, of course. And uh, yeah, number 19, Billy Idol. Number 18, Peter Gabriel, So. Hit such as Sledgehammer. Yes, what a song that was. And uh, good album as well. Number 17, Talk Talk, It's My Life. Obviously, it features the song It's My Life, which is the song which just never sounds outdated, even though it's what was what, over 30 years old. Great song. Also, Such a Shame is on here as well. Great song. Good album, Talk Talk. Number 16, this just about made the list. Very, very early 80s. Well, it was released in 1980. Um, I did a bit of a research on the songs. I think they came out in 1980 and 81. Um, so I thought it might just be sort of late 70s. But no, I was, uh, I was right in what I was thinking. And that's Neil Diamond, the jazz singer. Number of hits released off this album. Hello Again in America. And uh, yes, good album by uh, Neil Diamond. The, um, number 15 now, um, Donald Fagan, The Nightfly. Yes, this is a very good album to uh, require, this one. And uh, I was lucky to pick it up for £5, I think, back in the day, a year or two ago. And uh, yeah, very pleased with that. Number 14, Roxy Music. Yes, Roxy Music, Avalon. Very, very good album of uh, Roxy Music. Worth picking up. Cheap album to buy. Um, sounds very, very good as well. I think this possibly is a uh, an audiophile esque record. So yes, very good. Very, very good. <laughs> Thank you. 
number 13 simply reds picture book this too i think is considered an audio file record um good album i love I mean i love simply red um the this this album's got great hits such as holding back the years it's just a, a classic classic 80s song um money's too tight to mention as well as on this album and it's a very very good album to have that's uh, simply read uh picture book number 13 the rolling stones tattoo you yes i think this has got to be my favorite of the rolling stones of the 80s um start me up what a track that is. start me up and um what else is uh great on here um Waiting on a friend, that's just a cracking song. That's just a, a song what cheers everybody up every time people hear that song. Waiting on a friend, great song. That was, uh, that was 81. Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet. Yes, big, big album for Bon Jovi. Um, I think this was his biggest at the time. Um, Let It Rock, You Give Love a Big a Bad Name, uh, Living on a Prayer, Wanted Dead and Alive. Very, very good album of uh, Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet. Right, we're getting into it now. Number 10. Number 10. Tears for Fears, Seeds of Love. Brilliant production on this album. Sound quality is excellent on vinyl or on CD. Um, yeah, Seeds of Love, very, very, very Beatles-esque song. And um, yeah, I think the album is is a bit of a love letter to the Beatles. And uh, it's got it's got so many, so much uh, Illuminati um, symbolism on the cover. It's, that ridiculous but anyway yeah um number 10 in the list tears for fears seeds of love and uh yeah woman in chains was also another song they released off this album as well number nine oh this is a, a classic rock album death leopard hysteria a lot of hits off this album hugely popular um includes rocket pour some sugar on me love bites and animal and uh, i think if you were to buy the singles of those uh the 45s of those singles you can actually create this uh, this picture if you put all the pictures sleeve together and uh, yeah this is riddled full of illuminati symbolism as well 
So, uh, very interesting. Great album. Number eight, George Harrison, Cloud Nine. Yes, I uh, I like this album. Um, has got the very poppy, uh, got my mind set on you, which was uh, a number one, I believe. Um, I think this was under the production of Jeff Lynne. Uh, and this may even be just before he created the Travelling Wilburys. And uh, yeah, so it's, a, it's a brilliant album of uh, George Harrison. Number six, Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. This is uh, packed full of great songs. Obviously, Born in the USA. Um, Cover Me, I think, was a single. Um, Dancing in the Dark, Glory Days. Uh, I mean, I could be mistaken. This could be a compilation. As far as I know, I, is I believe it's an album. But, uh, yeah, I'm including it anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's my uh, number six. Bruce Street Springsteen and uh, Born in the USA. Number five. Now, this definitely is an audiophile album. Dire Straits, Brother in Arms. Sorry, Brothers in Arms. Early 80s, I think this was. No, 80, 85. It's, yeah, it's got loads of hits. Uh, so Far Away, Money for Nothing, Walk of Life. Great album. Got to pick this one up if you haven't already. <laughs> This Lennon classic, Imagine, by John Lennon. Um, yeah, yes, yeah, a great album for me. Um, and the song Imagine, I think, is perhaps one of the most important songs ever written. Such a strong message of, uh, of John's in that record. And uh, yeah, what a, what a song. What, a, what an album of John's, Imagine. Number three, a favourite of mine, the Travelling Wilburys. Yes, the Travelling Wilburys, Volume 1, uh, hits such as uh, Handle With Care, which is just a good song. I, I never get tired of it. Um, Dirty World as well, it's a great song. Um, End of the Line was also was a single. And uh, yeah, it's just a really, really good album of the Travelling Wilburys. Worth picking up. Um, if you haven't heard this album, go check it out right away. Great album. Number three, LC, same uh, production as, as Traveling Wilburys. Um, Jeff Lynn, uh, Tom Petty. Yeah, Tom Petty, my favourite. Full Moon Fever. Such hits such as uh, Free Falling. I won't back down. Uh, Facing the crowd is a brilliant song, brilliant song, and uh, it's a very good, uh, very very good solo album of Tom Tom Petty. Worth picking up. Trees went by, me and Dale were singing. Little run away, I was flying. Number two, this this killer killer album by. ACDC, who else? ACDC, Back in Black, cracking album, absolutely cracking. Uh, Back in Black, Hell's Bells, Shoot to Thrill, Giving the Dog a Bone, What Do You Do for, for Money, Honey, Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution, Let Me Put My Love Into You, You Shook Me All Night Long, which is a great, great song. Uh, 
Shake a Leg, uh, Have a Drink on Me. Um, great album, great, great album. And uh, yeah, you got to pick this one up if, uh, if you like classic rock. I'm betting Blick, I've got a sec. I don't know where the bog is and I need to have a crap. Number one. Number one, yes, number one. Bit of a cliche, I'm afraid. It's that all-time selling album of all time. No other than Michael Jackson's Thriller. And uh, it, it has to be, for me, the number one album. It's got so many good songs on this album. Um... Want to be starting something, Baby Be Mine, The Girl Is Mine by Paul McCartney, Thriller, Beat It, Billy Jean. I mean, it just goes on and on. It is an absolutely phenomenal album, and um, I can understand its popularity. And uh, yeah, very, very good album. And uh, that is basically my top 40. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope it wasn't too long. Uh, I'm going to include a few needle drops here and there if I can in the video. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, until next time, everyone, take care. And I will see you very, very shortly. Bye for now.